using lambda expressions in Kotlin examples. See clear examples of how lambda expressions can declutter your Kotlin code. Tired of messy anonymous classes getting in the way? Through easy to follow examples, learn how lambdas provide a concise and elegant way to pass behavior in just a few lines, making your code more readable and maintainable. Under the relentless African sun, I found myself much like the weary antelope on the cusp of an evolution. I am Kanyisa Keke, an aspiring software developer with an old soul and a hunger for the wild. A lion with a laptop, if you will. I studied and thrived in the structured world of Java, like a leopard in his well-trodden territory. My comfort was in the known, the predictable. Here in the open landscape of possibilities and under the boabab of innovation, Kotlin seemed to beckon to me, the whispered of promises of smoother syntax and cleaner code through the rustling branches. The moment the necessity dawned, it crested like the first light over Table Mountain. I wanted my code to sing the songs of the Isi Torsa to hold as much mystery and efficiency as the Ameva River. I needed to step out of my own boundaries. I ventured into the uncharted grasslands where code was not merely written but summoned like rains in a dry spell. The JSON object, a Nile crocodile, snappy and misleading, but lambda expressions, they were the elusive leopards, powerful and succinct, hiding their might within curly braces. I stumbled initially, syntax errors biting at my heels like pesky ZZ flies, but with each function passed as a parameter and each operation abstracted behind translucent braces, I became one with the concept I adapted just as the sturdy acacia roots twist deep into the earth. I desired brevity and flexibility and landers heeded my call. With anonymous glory, they brought a newfound grace to my code, reducing lines like the horizon swallows the sun at dusk. The price of my yearning was naught but the pain of change. Like the migration of wildebeest, it was taxing, laden with perils, a mind once stretched could never return to its old dimensions. Sated with my conquest, laden with the spoils of learning, I returned to my cradle of tradition. Yet, it was not the same, for I bore the markings of my journey like the scars on a warrior's visage. Java to me now resembled the old Buabab, strong but stark against the innovation sweeping through the code like Hamatan winds. I had changed just like the savannah does with the seasons. The lions within me, both old and new, lay side by side, Java and Kotlin in a coalition of power and potential. Lambdas had become the new roars echoing through the plains of my endeavor, a testament to my growth, a balance struck between the old dominion and, and the desired and the destined evolution. So beneath the vast raw sky, in the cradle of mankind and machine, I found a merger of worlds in this digital savanna, armed with the spear of a warrior in the keystrokes of a coda. I wielded lambdas as I would my resolve, with precision, purpose, and a profound respect for the wilderness of innovation. One of the key advantages of lambda expressions is their ability to be used as first class citizens in Kotlin. This means that you can treat lambda expressions just like any other variable, passing them as arguments to functions, storing them in variables, or even returning them from other functions. How to pass lambda expressions as arguments in Kotlin example. Feeling overwhelmed by callback hell in your Kotlin code? Learn the elegant Kotlin solution. Pass behavior as lambdas instead of annoying anonymous classes and simplify your code with functional goodness. How to pass lambda expressions as arguments in Kotlin example. A common use case for lambda expressions is to pass them as arguments to higher order functions. Higher order functions are functions that either 
take other functions as parameters or return parameters as their result. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we have a higher order function called process data that takes a list of integers and the lambda expression as arguments. The lambda expression int arrow unit presents a function that takes an integer as a parameter and returns nothing. Inside the process data function, we loop through the list of numbers and apply the lambda expression to each item. How to store lambda expressions in variables in Kotlin example. Are lambda expressions confusing you in Kotlin? Do you struggle to understand how to properly store and utilize them? Learn the simple trick to effortlessly capture lambdas in handy variables for clean, reusable code in just minutes. How to store lambda expressions in variables in Kotlin example. Another powerful feature of lambda expressions is the ability to store them in variables. This allows you to re reuse lambda expressions throughout your code. Here's an example. In this example, we define a lambda expression called multiply that takes two integers as parameters and returns their product. We then store this lambda expression in a variable called multiply. This variable can now be used as a regular function taking two integers and returning their product. How to return lambda expressions from functions in Kotlin example. Do lambda functions confuse you in Kotlin? Learn the simple trick to easily return lambda expressions from your Kotlin functions so you can write cleaner, more readable code that will impress your colleagues. After watching, lambda returns will be a breeze even for Kotlin beginners. How to return lambda expressions from functions in Kotlin example. Lambda expressions can also be returned from functions allowing you to dynamically generate functions based on certain conditions or calculations. Here's an example. In this example, we have a function cre called create multiplier that takes an integer factor as a parameter and returns a lambda expression int arrow int. This lambda expression multiplies the input number by the factor. In the main function, we create a multiplier by calling create multiplier then in, in, in brackets 3 and then use this multiplier to multiply the number 5. The result printed as the result is 15. When is the it keyword used in lambda expressions in Kotlin example? Struggling to understand Kotlin lambdas Feeling lost, try to figure out when to use the mysterious it parameter. Watch this quick video to gain clarity and confidence using it in Kotlin Lambdas through simple explanations and practical examples you can apply immediately. When is the it keyword used in Lambda expressions in Kotlin? In Kotlin, if a Lambda expression has only one parameter, you can use the it keyword as a shorthand for that parameter. This makes the code more concise and readable. Here's an example. In this example, we have a list of numbers and we want to filter out the numbers greater than three and print them. Instead of explicitly defining the parameter in the Lambda expression, we can use the it keyword to refer to each element in the list. This allows us to write more succinct code. How to use collection filtering in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. Tired of messy lambda code cluttering up your Kotlin app? Learn how collection filtering can declutter and simplify your lambdas in just five minutes with this easy Kotlin tutorial that will have your code looking clean and professional. How to use collection filtering in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. A very popular example is filtering lists using the dot filter curly braces standard library function. You pass a predicate lambda to filter that returns true or false to select elements. Here's an example on screen. Clear variable called val numbers 
uh, in the list of of type list of then you have a list of numbers and then you declare another variable called val evens and then it applies the numbers dot um, then you say numbers dot filter then you say it um, divided by two equals zero zero in curly braces which is to say that you filter the even numbers to produce a another variable to to insert the, uh, the even numbers into the uh, evens variable and then we can filter by any condition without requiring temporary variables or loops so chaining the filter a function and map function together is also common the example is below val filtered and mapped equals values that we declare a variable called val filtered and mapped equals values then you apply the dot filter it greater than two in curly braces and then the dot map it times three this maps all values over two to triple their value how to use event handling in lambda expressions in Kotlin example. Tired of tangled callback spaghetti code cluttering your Kotlin apps? Learn how Kotlin's slick lambda expressions and built-in event handlers let you write cleaner event-driven code that's easier to read and maintain. I'll explain it all clearly in 10 minutes with helpful examples you can apply immediately how to use event handling in lambda expressions in kotlin example lambdas are extremely useful for event handling in android gui apps by running code when events occur an example of this that i show here is the button dot set on on click listener and then in the curly braces which is the lambda we have a display alert dialog function which activates when the button is clicked therefore there's no need to create single method interfaces and you can also use lambdas for asynchronous event streams with rx java flow apis etc how to use threading lambda expressions in kotlin example struggling with slow code learn a simple trick that makes your kotlin apps faster and more responsive threading lambda expressions can greatly improve performance with just a few extra lines this quick video walks through a real example so you can use kotlin coroutines like a pro we can create threads by passing a lambda instead of needing a separate runnable class here's an example a thread with a print numbers function then the dot start to start the thread which results in cleaner syntax without extra classes lambdas also work great with coroutines for non-blocking concurrency that being said are you tired of those pesky runtime now point exceptions crashing your apps let us now take a look at another feature of kotlin now safety with kotlin's built-in now safety you can say goodbye to worrying about npes instead leverage the power of strict compile time checks to catch issues early while writing cleaner safer code learn how kotlin makes handling nulls simple and intuitive in this quick video